Shalom, Yasharal, I want to give infinite honors to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, and Karkadash. Yahweh is the name of our Heavenly Father that the world ignorant calls God. By Hashem, in the, in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, means in the name. And Yahweh Shah is the name of our great king, and it means he is our deliverer. All right? And Rakar Kadash means Holy Spirit in the ancient tongue. All right, I want to give double honest to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, who the most I poured his spirit on in these last days to feed the flock, pastors according to his own heart, and um, salutations and shalom to my fellow labors in Yahweh Shah, pushing this truth to the four winds without fear and trembling. Peace and blessings to the blessed elect. All right, and this sit down, I'm going um, to go in how the most high's ways are higher than our ways. You, you hear a lot of people, um, atheists and Niggas that just don't know the most high. They always say, if there's a God, how come he always let little kids get killed? He he let little he he uh let kids get raped. Then you have people in, in, in secular Christianity, modern day Christianity, be like, He's a God of love. He wouldn't let that happen to a child. That's the devil. That's that God wouldn't commission that. He wouldn't let that happen. All right. You don't know the most high. All right. That's why the most I say King David was a man after his own heart. All right. He was a man after the mind of the most high. All right. Like in, in the secular world, you always hear people uh, bash theologians. Well, people in the Negro community that don't know shit. He'd be like, oh, this guy think he's a this. This is a theologian. He's a theo a theologian. You're supposed to be a theologian when you get to uh, understand the context of the word. All right. Theos means God. And ology means the study of. So you're supposed to study the mind of the Most High. That's why King David said in Psalms 27, you told me to seek your face. And he said, your face I will seek. All right. So we we need to know how the Most High thinks. All right. If his ways are higher than our ways, we need to learn how his ways is. And he don't give two shits about a, a kid in the project getting his head blown off. He commissions it. He don't care about uh, a little girl getting molested, he commissions it, okay? The most I say, he creates evil uh, and good. He do all of these things. Let me get that, all right? He let those, when you transgress his word, he lets evil take a hold of you. This is uh, Isaiah 45 and 7, and it reads, I form the light, and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. All right? So when you see going to ghetto of America and you see our people in a lower state and all these atrocities and calamities befall our people, the most high, uh, let that be, he does that for a scourge for a minute, for us transgressing his word. All right? In fact, let the scriptures do the talking. This Deut Deuteronomy. 28, I'm going to start at 1. Oh, I'm going to start at 14, Salaki. All right? And it reads, uh, And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I commanded thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go of the other guys of the servant. But it shall come to pass, if you are not hearken to my voice, or the love of thy God, to observe and do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command these day, then all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, now let's see what some of these curses is. Okay, here go one right here. And he shall besiege you in all our gates, talking about our oppressor, until the high and fence walls come down, wherein thou trusted. Through all thy land. He shall besiege thee in all thy gates through all thy land. I mean, this devil in these last days, he's going to come to a ghetto near you, a neighborhood near you. All right. These stormtroopers, these uh, UN soldiers. All right. So on and so forth. They're going to come from house to house, door to door, dragging you out these houses, bringing you to concentration camps. And when they come, they're going to uh, spoil you. All right which the Lord thy power have given thee, all right? And thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body. See, when this infrastructure falls and all hell break loose, you're going to have a famine in the land. And when you have a famine in the land, people resort to their animal-like instincts, all right? And guess what they're going to do? 
They're going to resort to capitalism. And guess what? Who are they going to eat the food that I don't buy? They're going to eat their own children. A God wouldn't commission that. He just commissioned that in the 15th chapter. He said, if you don't obey my words, now he's telling you the things that's going to befall you. All right? So you've been found out to be a liar because you don't know his word. People that, that think that way. Whoever taught you don't know the, the, the mind of the most high. The flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters, which the Lord thy power have given thee in the siege and in the straightness, where thy enemy shall distress thee. All right? So when the, when the enemy come in like a flood, man, uh, and, and distress thee, man, our people are going to resort to cannibalism, man, eating their little children, the little kids. That means they're going to kill little kids, put them on a the frying pan, and saute their asses, man. This is how the Most High get down when you transgress His word. Let me get this, hey, the Most High has a lot of personality traits, man. It's not all love, all right. That's that's the thing about the truth, man. The men of great millstone teach the nastiness of the scriptures. Uh, where the Book of Job at? This is Job. Uh, I think it's eighteen and fourteen. Let's get it. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. All right. How heavenly father is the king of terrors, man. He don't get two shits about no child, no little wicked child. And I'm going I'm to show you why, though. All right. He don't look at children the way we on the physical plane look at children. When you look at little children, they grow up to be monsters, man. Look at these corporate brankers. They was once little kids and swatting link hole and, and pampers, su sipping on milk, looking all cute and cuddly. And what they grew up to do, they grew up to slay millions of people, shed millions, of, uh, break up millions of households, man. All right, so their spirit within them was wicked from the beginning. Okay? And our Heavenly Father is a king of terrors, man. He, all right? Yes, his mercy enduring forever. Yes, he's gracious. Yes, he can be tender. All right. But he also has another side, man. How is he going to create a, 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 a creation with more emotion and more personality traits than him, man? He's just one way, but his creation could be melancholy. His creation could be happy. His creation could be sad. I mean, come on. All right. He gets pissed. All right. In fact, Got a fire precept for that. This is Nahum 1 and 1. All right. Here we go. Nahum 1 and 2. Yahweh is jealous. One personality trait. He gets jealous. Yahweh will revenge him. All right. So he gets vengeance. All right. He's vengeful. Yahweh will revenge him. And is furious. He gets angry. <laughs> okay. He would take vengeance on his adversary and reserve wrath for his enemies. All right. But Yahweh is also slow to anger and great in power. OK, so he's slow to anger. But does he get angry? Yes. Do he get uh, does he get furious? Yes. Is he jealous for his creation? Yes. OK. All right. And I'm going to stay on the topic. That's why when you see little children getting slayed and so on and so forth, I mean, the most high, that's how he get down, man. He don't look at a child as a little cuddle little baby. He looks at that spirit. See, he's a, a spiritual being. All right. That's why I say flesh and blood cannot enter the house of Yahweh by Shema and Shah. All right. Can't come into the heavens. You have to be spiritual to deal with the Most High. So flesh and blood, look at a, a baby like his cuddle. All the Most High see is that spirit dwelling in with that baby. And that spirit is an ancient spirit. All right. The spirit, though, every spirit has been here since the beginning of creation. So it's an ancient spirit and, the, and they be wicked, you know? In fact, let me go ahead and get that. All right. Uh, I'm going to start at Proverbs. It's Proverbs 16 and 4. Yahweh made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked from the day of evil. Okay. So he created wicked from birth. The wicked are estranged from birth. Let me get that. This is, uh, where's the scripture? Psalms. All right. Well, he created the wicked 
He created them to be destroyed. Vessels of, of design. I'm going to get that too. Isaiah 58 and 3. And they be babies. The wicked are estranged from the wombs. As soon as they go astray, as soon as they be born, speaking lies. The poison, their poison is like the poison of a serpent, and their life like the deaf adder that stop of the ear. You see, when you see a little cut of little baby, man, when a little baby it, it, it come out as a uh, Evelyn Rothschild, Lord Jacobs Rothschild, a little cut of little baby, but when it becomes a, a adult, it's it's deadly like the deaf adder, man. These people have slayed millions of people, man. These people have destroyed millions of families, man. These people have done all type of atrocities. Uh, 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 oh, Lord, I hate when I get tongue tied. Atrocities to mankind. They've dropped nuclear bombs on, uh, on innocent people, man. Fuck, they, they getting mad at the heads of state and they just, they kill millions of people that didn't have nothing to do with nothing. All right? This is the devil you're dealing with. And they, they, are, they were like that from birth. That evil spirit, that seed was put in them from birth. Okay? This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 20. And it reads, but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and, and of silver. In that great house is the nations of the earth. You got the house of David, the house of Saul. You got the house of Esau, the house of Amalek, the house of Moab, the house of Ammon. All right. These are nations of people. You liken them to houses. OK. All right. And the gold and the silver I mean as it pertains to the nation of Israel, you have the elect. All right. Fire makes gold and silver better. The elect just get better and better and better. Brothers grow in the spirit, grow in the spirit, go from glory to glory. All right. But also of wood and earth. Guess what? When you put wood on fire on wood and earth, it, it dissolves. It becomes smoke and ashes. All right. So and that, that smoke and ashes, that wood and earth represent wicked motherfuckers. All right. Wicked, wicked motherfuckers are put in the oven. They are put in the lake of fire. OK. They are vessels created to be destroyed and some to honor and some to dishonor. All right. And they are created like that from the beginning. Let me get that. Uh, the book of Romans. They're created like that before they even created <laughs> before they were even put in a body. This is Romans 8 and 14. All right. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. I know it's in the eight chapter. And go down some eight and twenty. That's what I want. Eight and twenty. That's not either either. Bear with me, Yahshua. I know it's oh, here we go. This is Romans eight and twenty eight. And we know all things work together for them that love Yahweh, to them that are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, that means he knew you before you even put in the belly. The foreknow something is before it comes to fruition. All right? So he foreknew the wicked and he foreknew the good. He also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. So he predestined the elect to receive our great king's uh, gospel and, and live it and go push across the four winds. And he foreknew those and predestined those that were going to reject it and come against it. All right, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. So if it go to those that, that receive it, are going to be the firstborn among many brothers. Then you have that sect that reject them and they are uh, going to be destroyed. It was predestined for them to be destroyed before they were put into a carnal physical body that come into this physical worldly plane, man. OK, moreover, whom he did predestinate. All right. Before creation. All right. When he created the spirits in the beginning. All right. This, it, way in the book of Genesis, uh, the, before the spirits were put in the physical bodies, their lot was already foreknown and predestinated way in the beginning. All right. Them he also called whom he called them. He justified and whom he justified them. He glorified. All right. And you, you turn that to the left hand side. Don't for moreover whom he did predestinate them. He also whom he called them. He condemned and whom he condemned them. 
he judged. <laughs> that goes the same for the vessels of dishonor. They have been condemned. They have been damned from the beginning, predestined. All right, when he created the spirits in the beginning, when the Elohim, Yahweh Shine, the angels created the spirits in the beginning, he created their lots. All right, the 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 prophets are subject to the prophets, and the wicked is subject to the wicked. Okay, you can't get around it. All right, this is uh, Exodus chapter twenty, verse five. Thou shalt not bow thyself to man to serve them, for I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, all right? And when he gets jealous, he gets furious, okay? Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. See, the Most High judge children. He kills children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Those that hate him, he destroys them. He don't give a fuck if you're a baby and you're a nine-month-old baby, a three-month-old baby. All right. You have cases of baby getting raped by pre babies. Look, look, two, three year old babies getting raped. All right. That's their judgment for sins they committed in their past lives, man. All right. Those all acts are, com uh, are commissioned by Yahweh by Shemal Shai. You read that when you read the book of Kings, the 19th chapter. I think it's first Kings, the 19th chapter. All right. When they had those councils in the heaven. All right. Nothing. What, uh, the, uh, our great king I'll say a, fat, a sparrow does not fall to the ground unless the most high commission it don't no act a woman getting raped a man getting raped uh, a person becoming a cannibal alright a, a nephophilia ne you know the ones that like to have babe, uh, sex with dead bodies all of those things are commissioned alright and they're scourges for a minute those are judgments that fall on mankind for transgression the most high's word all right. The most high let these calamities happen, man. All right. He his ways are higher than our ways. Okay. And he don't give a fuck about kids getting wet, man. And that's how his men are, man. We under when we see these little gremlins running around here, you go from elementary school to elementary school to all of them rapping rap verses and you can look at a child when he's two or three and be like the little bad motherfucker. He's gonna be a demon when he grow up. You can see it. All right, the men of the Lord, we we are expiring to have the mind of the Most High, man. All right, and if you got the mind of the Most High, you know what time it is. You look at a little child and be like, the Most High going to deal with his little ass. You can see it. You Sometimes you can look at people and see the spirits on them. The Most High gives his men spirits of discernment, men after his own heart, man. And you can see the wickedness on these children, these little imps, man. All right, Ezekiel 9 and 4. And Yahweh said unto him, go through the city, the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a people before us a place. And set a mark on the foreheads of the men that signed crime for all the abominations that be done in the midst of them. Those are the, the vessels of gold and silver. All right. The vessels of honor. And to the others, he said in my hearing, that's the wood and stump, the wood and earth we just read about in the book of Timothy. Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eye spare. Neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids, little children, and women. Now, this is the most high giving this command, man. Let's go to the first verse. All right. This is the most high giving this command. He cried also in my ears with a loud voice saying, cause them to have charge of the city to draw near. Even every man with his destroyed weapon in his hand. This is the most high talking to the prophet Ezekiel, man. All right. This is the most high giving him these commands, man. And look at verse four. He say, and the Yahweh said unto him, <laughs> Yahweh is giving him this command. Yahweh said to him, look, that's all caps. That's all caps. That's the, our great power. That's the ancient of days giving that command. All right. He say, go through the midst of the city of, in, of Jerusalem. And let not your eyes spare. Slay utterly young women, maids, and little children. All right? That's how the most I get down. So when you're in this society and you look and you look at the, the, the world through spiritual binoculars and you see all these and you're a man of the Lord, you're a man after the most high's own heart, 
You're not uh, you're not drunk off that Christian philosophy. The devil did this. The devil did that. You don't read nothing about Satan in none of these verses I'm bringing up. He's not in one of these verses. All Satan is somebody that take orders, man. He's taking orders. He just follow orders. Satan is obedient. Satan is in his right mind. Satan is an obedient servant of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakhadash. The demons are obedient servants. If everybody was obedient as the 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 demons of hell and those left-handed powders, we'll be all right. They do what the Most High created them to do, and they do it to please Him. Okay. The Most High commissioned these things. So when you look at the the, the, the condition of the earth, and you look at it from a, a, a spiritual perspective, which is spiritual binocular zone, all right? You got your spiritual peripheral zone, all right? You you see, this is how the Most High get down. The, the earth is out of whack. He put the basis of men to rule this, and it's for us to learn, the elect to learn, never to transgress his word, all right? Because this is what will happen. When you transgress my word, all right, you won't drink clean water. You won't breathe clean air. Your women will be defiled, all right? And the, the wicked will bear rule, all right? That's what this is all about, for the elect to learn not to go off anymore, all right? That's what it's all about, all right? And I'm going to give two examples of, of the most high, not giving a fuck about children man all right oh he don't care about children don't be simple the most i love his little ones he, you know and he likens his men to little children all right but shoot men that got their house in order man his, their children are gonna be on in a leg number man but for the most of us the, the most not the most of us so like you god forbid but for the for the most of our nation and the most of these heathens man little children are gonna be the bulk of motherfuckers dying. And, and when the law of the jungle is instituted, only the strong survive. So when you look at the dead bodies and the, and the, the bodies getting burnt and barbecued and shit, it's going to be little kids, man. It's going to be little kids. All right? This is John 6 and 20. All right? Now, this is the uh, account of uh Jericho when um uh, we, we went in and we, we marched around Jericho seven times all right and you know seven is a spiritual number let's see what happened to the children that was within the city of Jericho all right and and this is the most highest commission let's let's go up here all right and let's, let's get it right Joshua 6 and 2 and Yahweh said unto Joshua all right see I have given the hand of Jericho and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor, into your hand. All right. And, and I have see, I have given into thine hand Jericho, the king thereof, and the mighty hand of valor. So the Most High's commission, what we're about to read. Okay. So let me go down to uh, verse twenty. So the people shouted when the priest, you know, the story about it. You can read it for yourself. The Most High had uh, had us had the priests and the nation to walk around the city uh, six days straight once and on the seventh day we walked around the city seven times and the, and the city fell now, when, the, when the, the walls of the city fell now let's see what happened when the walls of the city fell so the people shouted when the priest blew the trumpets blew with the trumpets and came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet the people shouted with a great shout and that the wall fell down flat so that the people went up into the city and every man strayed before him and they took the city. Let's see what they did when they took the city, okay? And they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both men, women, young and old, all right? So the Most High don't have no mercy on no old, 80, 90-year-old fool and he don't have mercy on no little two, three-year-old, four-year-old, one-year-old uh, child, man. The Most High... When he look at them, he look at them as spirits. Those, those spirits are ancient, okay? So when you hear people in this society, oh, God didn't do that, that's the devil. They don't know what they're talking about, all right? In fact, let me find that precept. Uh, 
They don't know what the fuck they talk about. This is uh, Ecclesiastica Syrac, uh, uh, also known as Syrac, 21 and 27. When the ungodly curse Satan, he curseth his own soul. All right? These are people speaking evil of dignitaries, man. Satan is a dignitary. All right? They, Satan is doing what Yahweh created him to do, man. So when you when you speak of evil of dignitaries, you're you're uh you're uh cursing your own soul. And another dignitary is the men of the of the Lord. When you're when you're cursing the men of the Lord, calling them pedophiles and saying all these unseemly things about them, you're cursing your own soul, man. Okay. Let me get this other account and uh what the most high did to this wicked ass nigga Aiken. Oh, that was in the book of Joshua too. All right. We'll go to Joshua 7 and 20. All right. Joshua 7 and 20. All right. And you know that the, the job about what Joshua 7 is, is when we went up against uh, the Canaanites uh, in the city of Ai. And um, they, they, when we went to attack them, they, they killed a lot of us. They beat us down because we had a wicked nigga in the fold. And this is an example about purge and leaven from the body. All right. Purge and wickedness from Israel because it a little leaven loveth the lump. All right. And that's what happened. This guy transgressed the most high's word and uh, he brought evil upon Israel. All right. This is Joshua 7 and 20. And Anchor answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against Yahweh, thy, our power, thy power of Yasharala. And thus have have I done. When I saw among the spoils a goodly Babylonian garment and 200 shekels of silver, a wedge of gold of 50 shekels weighed, then I coveted them. All right. And this is how men love their, lose their soul. He coveted them. The love of money is the root of all evil. All right. And you see, this has been going on amongst our people. They, you got guys in the truth. You think they're going hard and then they, they sell their soul for a bag of gold, man. All right. And when you read Jeremiah, that he's uh, I mean, not Jeremiah, Ezekiel, the seventh chapter, he said that was their wickedness. That was that was the cause of their uh, inequity, uh, the gold and the silver. All right. And it, it didn't deliver them from the day of wrath. All right. And I and, when, and I covered them and took them and behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent and the silver under it. So Joshua sent messengers and they ran to the and I was a nigger. And that's how you get niggas that creep in the vibe, the body, man. But that's that. Hey, you know what? That's a part of the territory, man. Because guess what? Joshua had the spirit of discernment. That's why wicked niggas amongst the body always get expelled. They always get bought out. All right. So how was shy? That's how you say Joshua sent messengers and they ran into the tent and behold, it was hid in his tent. Un, and the silver under it. And they took him out of the midst of the tent and brought him unto Joshua, them unto Joshua, and unto the children of Yasharala, and said, and laid them out before Yahweh. All right, now let's see what this judgment befall this guy. All right, and, and, and Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan the son of Zerah and the silver and the garment and the wedge of gold. And his sons, his daughters, his oxen, his asses, his sheep, his tent, and all that he had. And look, this guy had a, a family. He had oxen. He had asses. All right? He was doing good already. He was a greedy nigga. All right? He had his tent. He had his household. He had possessions, a family. But he wanted more. That, that's wickedness. And all that he had. And they bought them into the valley of Acre. And, and Joshua said, why has thou troubled us? All right. And Yahweh shall trouble thee this day. And Israel stoned him with stones and burnt them with fire. They said, oh, bro, the most high don't play, man. This, this is the most highest commission. All right. So he did that to his sons and his daughters. All right. His whole house. The most high ain't give a fuck. And he stoned their asses with stone and burnt them with fire. All right. And they had stoned them with stones. And they raised over him a great heap of stones until this day. 
So Yahweh turned from the fierceness of his anger, whereof that name of that place is called the Valley of Acre unto this day. Because that nigga went off, man. But the part of the matter about that scripture I have to show you, man, his household, his children, his, his, his children, the most high, whacked them too. What what they what did the little children have to do it, man? He 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 visited the iniquity of the father upon the sons, man. Okay? It is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. The most high don't play. He don't give a fuck about a look. He don't look at things like we look at things. Let me get this scripture. Uh, Isaiah. This is Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55 and 9. All right. This is a good one here. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. See, we look at little kids. Oh, that little baby is so adorable. All right. But when the most high look at that baby, that baby stinks. That's, that baby is polluted. That's an old, wicked, demonic spirit. Like, look at Donald Trump. When Donald Trump, he, he was a little baby, but that spirit was in him, the same spirit that dwelt in Nero. Oh, wicked, abominable, defiled, abomination. All right? When you look at Michael Jordan, he was probably a little dark-skinned, pretty little baby. But look at him now. Oh, wicked, uh, uh, abominable traitor to his people, man. You see what I'm saying? That spirit in him didn't get wicked over time. That spirit was wicked in him uh, when he was in the womb. When he was in the womb, that spirit was wicked. And when that spirit come out, the most high don't see no flesh. He see a, a wicked, ancient, defiled spirit, man. Okay? A vessel of dishonor created to be destroyed. So it don't matter if he kill that, if that, if that spirit dies at 95 or that spirit dies at 5. It's a, it's a, a wicked spirit. Okay? A wicked soul. All right? For the for for your for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither your ways my ways, said Yahweh. All right, our ways is you protect the child. You you know what I'm saying? The Most High gonna put the spirit, and He said we're gonna do according to His anger. So we are gonna see little kids, and we're not gonna give a fuck. We're gonna see little kids starving to death during Jacob's trouble. We we might see unseemly things happen to little kids and children. We gonna know that's the judgment of Yahweh by Shemayim Shai, and how dare us interfere with it. Like on that movie uh, with Denzel Washington, the book of Eli, he seen that woman getting raped. He say, stick to the path, stick to the path. He was coming in the spirit of the servant of Yahweh by Shema was shot. He didn't go interfere with that. That was the most highest judgment. All right. He just kept going. Stick to the path. We're going to stick to the path. We're going to see all type of so-called injustices when we on the run during Jacob's trouble. We might, we might see little kids getting raped. We, oh, shit, we're not going to interfere. We're going to keep going. Because we got the mind of the most high. We know those are old, ancient, wicked demons. Then we might see a child that would be under a lick. And the most high might put the spirit on the, on the brother and be like, hey, take the child with us. Let him come with us. That, that, that could be a lick spirit. You know? You know? That's why you got to be in tune with the spirit. And now is the time, man. All right? For as the heavens are, are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts than your thoughts. Okay? So, and it's our duty as servants of Yahweh Bashim Shai to seek out his ways. All right? To seek out his thoughts. All right? Let me show you. This is uh this is one of my favorite chapters right here. And I got a lot of them. This is one of them. When I get depressed or something that's weighing on me heavy, I always get this chapter right here. All right, this Psalms 27 and what a point out there. Here we go. This Psalms 27 and 7. And yeah, brothers, when y'all, whenever you're going through your issues in the society, because you're going to, we go from glory to glory, but when you want to deal, um, the most how to deal, uh, give ear to you, you know, you get in the spirit how David was in this in this chapter. When you feel like your enemies is overtaking you and you got this 
calamity on the right hand and then you got this atrocity on the the the, the, the uh, left hand and before you and behind you all hell breaking loose this is a good chapter to read I can, all right from for in the time of, of of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion this psalms 27 and 5 i'm gonna read down to the point in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me he shall set me on a rock and now shall mine head be lifted above my enemies round about me. All right. And this the prayer. This should be the prayer of all of the elect men. Therefore, will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy and sing, yeah, I will sing praises unto Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Hear, O Yahweh, when I cry with my voice. All right. Have also have mercy also upon me and answer me. You know, sometimes you feel like the most high then abandon you. And sometimes you got to, you know, go in that prayer closet, face the east and be like, Yahweh, answer me. What? I'm confused to lead me. Show me the way I should go. All right. You got to get intimate with the most high. But this the point. This, the, this is my point right here in verse eight. When thou say of seek my face. My, my mind said, you know, that word heart means your mind until thee thy face Yahweh, I will seek. And see, that's our job as men of the Lord, to get the mind of the Most High, seek his face so we can do things that are well-pleasing to him. You got to renew your mind and, and, and get the mind of Yahweh by Shema and Shai. So with that, Lord, willing to sit down, was edifying to the hearers. I want to give infinite honors to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shah, pushing this true culture for wins, Quam, Yashirala, Baba Ball.